Hello everyone, here comes back with Ricky Koi episode 1, season 2, right? So this is an anime I reacted to when it aired last season, man, we old now, right? And yeah, it's of course voiced by our beloved goddess. I think her best song is probably the opening, you know, Paradox Love kind of thing. It's probably the best opening she's sung. Um, and uh, I was listening, right? I think the anime is funny. It's not my best her work, though. That's kind of super, no, but I mean, she's done many animes, right? Sora, and uh, it was a castle in my place, <laughs> but I think the anime is good, it's not my favorite comedy anime, but also, I, I don't know, I'm gonna react to it here, right, I am probably gonna laugh a lot, don't, don't worry guys, I mean, I like the anime, but I feel like, I don't know, it, it's like comparable to, you know, the, the loves of an otaku, right, it's people compared to, you know, Votokoi and so on, right, all this koi stuff, and, man, some negative, but I, I, I felt this the one was like in the, in the, you know, it wasn't in the top, but it wasn't the worst either. <laughs> it's very mid. <laughs> I was like, it was mid. <laughs> I'm still here. Um, people got dislike immediately. Like, oh, screw this guy. No, but I, I don't know. Like, I want to give it a chance, right? But I don't promise, honestly, that I'm going to keep watching it every episode. We will see, right? You know, honestly, I will see. Of course, I'm hoping this is two is to be better, right? Not that I hate this is the one. I liked this is the one, but I, don't, I didn't love it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I liked it, but I didn't, like, love it, right? I was like, oh, like, eh, it was okay, you know? But anyway, let's start watching it. So, three, two, one, and go. And got it tonight, we have all the new animes coming too, right? Yeah, after this, we have Virgin Road and this order, like school uh, comedy. So, two new animes today, and also we have episode of Vanitan. Last stuff here on Friday, right? But this is like the first Friday, and some animes, like Vanitan, it hasn't ended yet. So, but anyway, I guess it's gonna recap. We're gonna recap all episodes of one, probably. I'm looking forward to seeing the opening, you know? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I wanna see her new opening song. I wanna see your goddamn song, you know? Yeah, what does everyone else do? The audience is through the other character, doesn't we? It's kinda sexy. <laughs> it's like armor, yeah, it's just a sex appeal, come on. It's just sex appeal, yeah, it looks cool and sexy. Exactly, it's a role effect. In our academy, at our place, yeah, we have to wear sexy lab coats. Very good, Sensei. Man, he's so muscular. I want to have a second. I want dumbbell. I want a hibiki more, you know. Because here we go. Yeah, he's a very beef, right? Yeah, he's a beef guy. I want. Where, where's my dumbbells into? I like it. Einstein and so on, you know. Nobel. Yeah, Isaac Newton. Yeah, why isn't he wearing it? He's too muscular, probably. I like it. They're burning his here now. He's too muscular. He likes to be, he's too muscular, right? He's too busy to beef, right? Okay. Kyoto Sensei? No, it's a bull here. I think it's too muscular. Okay, so new opening. Of course, she's gonna sing the opening, baby. She's gonna sing the opening! It's gonna be freaking eyes sore. It's gonna see, here we go, yeah. Here comes the milk fork, you know? She's gonna sing the opening, of course, always. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's very sexy, don't get me wrong. She's a very hot MILF scientist. Do do. <laughs> the name is so weird, so I had to prove it. R equals uh, sinus theta, yeah. <laughs> Sin theta minus one, yeah, baby. It's clearly tells me not. Ooh, man, the opening gives us some big oppas immediately here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so some scientist MILF, man. Some new outfit here. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I love it. It's like a montage of her clothing. <laughs> it's a little, yeah, it's a little, uh, you know, but there's a darling here. We're gonna show the girls in different outfits. They call the cutest couple. Come on, this is the best couple. This is the best couple, man. You know, little perv and little girl. Come on. <laughs> yeah, hentai, hentai guy and little girl. Come on. The, yeah, she's obviously the oldest, but she's tiny, right? Yeah. She's a tiny girl, and he's, of course, weirdness. And, you know, the hentai game master, <laughs> yeah, the guy that plays all the arrow games, yes. And then it calls the sensor, yeah, come on, baby. I would say the song isn't as good as uh, the first opening, but it's a very good song, of course. But the opening is probably better animated, I would say. Yeah, like my visual stamp, I think the opening is much better. Song a little weaker, but better visuals, right? It's kind of a cool, mon yeah, like a montage, you know, everyone is like dressing up and so on. Yeah, a little wedding outfit. So I think definitely a better, like, uh, from a from a visual standpoint, the opening I think was better, certainly. Oh, there she is. She's the best girl. Come on, little little best girl. No, but I like the, the, the dynamic is fun, man. She's the little, you know, smart ass tiny girl, and you know, with the weird game, <laughs> with the weird arrow game master. 
But man, yeah, Sensei is Biff, man. He's Biff, man. Sensei is a muscular man. Yeah, he keeps ruining his wife. See, I told you guys, he's so muscular that he keeps ripping up the clothes, right? That's why they hate him, because, you know, he keeps destroying the clothes by flexing, right? And there she there is. Yeah. All I can see is you! <laughs> Immediately, yeah, let's shut up, yeah! All I can see is you! And it's like, oh god, this, this person, man, like, you know, she's like, oh my god. Uh, all I can see is you, yeah. God damn it, man. Classic. Classic annoyance, man. And he's stuck, of course, in science. He's a science guy, you know. Oh, yeah. And now they're remembering season one here. The science. Yeah. Oh, no. Nothing happened here. No. He didn't carry me. Oh, yeah. And this thing, too, of course. The hug effect. And... But that was more like he carried her out. I guess they're gonna flashback a bit now. Here we go. Yeah, they're gonna flashback. They're gonna go back to, you know... Um, yeah, they're gonna have to flashback when he was carrying her, which was in the other one, right? That's of course the big scene last season, of course. Yeah, here it goes. And then we get the kid. The, the, I mean, this is of course for the last season's ending, right? The whole kind of like he carried her, he piggybacked, you know, give her the piggyback, and <laughs> why are you two so weird suddenly? But that's clearly was the big thing last season that they had. That obviously, yeah, that was the highlight of last season, right? Kind of, or what do we call it? The ending of the love or whatever. Or the ending of love, I mean start. Or ending of love, but I mean ending of like the the pretense, I guess. Ending of pretending they don't like each other. This is the point. It was, it was more the start of the love, but I mean... Season 1 is like, you know, oh, we don't love each other. We're just uh, scientists, right? And then it ends with them kissing and the piggybacks. So it kind of... It's like the pretense of pretending that they aren't in the love is finally gone, right? So I feel season 2 here should be more actual, you know... Because now they're more actually open about being in love with each other, right? Hopefully. Hopefully so. <laughs> Probably not though. Could be a new character perhaps? Probably. Yes, a new a new MILF. Here we go. I have a feeling they're gonna introduce a new... <laughs> what is she? She's like the laboratory. It's very dark. It's very, I know, it's very, very dark. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it up and it's so dark, I can't barely see it on the... Okay, here we go, now it's this dark, I guess. Oh yeah, okay, so just... <laughs> yeah. Suddenly comes some weird, like, hentai sensei. Oh, yes, young people! You're like, yeah, but... It, it's fine to introduce a new... I mean, into this new cast, right? I'm going to do some new milf, right? And she's like, oh my god, they're evil. She's the straight girl, right? She's the girl that's you know, a normal person, right? Yeah. Oh, this voice is very familiar. Who is it? His voice is super familiar. Who's his voice actor? Oh man, it's very familiar, but I can't pinpoint it. But yeah, of course, introducing a new Chris Floret. Oh, it annoys me. Who is it? Ah, oh, it annoys me. Who is voice actor? Narara! Then you got this like <laughs> huge milf, big oppa lady. Yeah, <laughs> it's like ridiculous oppa lady. Oh, I gotta, I gotta Google it. Chris Floret, okay. Chris Floret. Uh, God damn it, who is his voice actor? Frustrated me immediately. Yeah. And she's like a ridiculous, uh, yeah, ridiculous milk character. It was that, I was thinking that. It is you, Kira. It is Aaron, right? Yeah. Right? Melodas. Terry sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn, I should have said it. Why, why was it covered for? I freaking knew it. Why, why was it covered for? I was thinking it was Melodas, you know? It also is Aaron, but I was thinking it sounded like Melodas. I was like, is this Yuki Kadja, right? You know, we also saw him die that. God damn it, I was... Why was it covered for? I should have said it. I was like... I, I was thinking that it sounded like Melodas, but I, 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 I chickened out when I just googled this. Damn it! Oh, I feel so pathetic now. Holy shit! She just went full hentai. How is it happening? Oh yeah, we get DNA by uh, sucking... Why, why we get DNA with our saliva? Yeah, she's the saliva master. <laughs> what? The saliva doctor! What is this? Yeah! She's like, oh yeah, we get sapped by saliva! What is this doctor? Ah, oh, give me your saliva! <laughs> what is this character? 
Yeah, why do you always have to make such a gonna give them a... Dustin! Like, why do you have to almost make it sound like you were giving them, you know, <laughs> special treatment with the saliva? Yeah. Of course, poor Aaron is like, stop. Yes, exactly. Man with testosterone will come after you. Certainly, it's gonna happen. Oh, he's very young. I guess, are they open the- Oh, what's well, this? a doctor, man. She just up by grabs him. What? Yeah. My saliva is only your saliva. Okay. Now, this new meal fear is. <laughs> yeah, this new couple is very, very sexual. <laughs> guy incredibly edgy. Yeah, couple of idiots. They're like, we have to leave. They're a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> She's like, you bunch of weirdos too, right there. But no, I don't think I don't think these guys are like this weird though. I feel these two are way more extra. Yeah, they're like, oh, I am a saliva doctor, <laughs> right? Holy shit, man! Yeah, she really likes I guess people's saliva. I guess so. But uh, man, I feel so cowardly, honestly. But I was recognize the voice. And I, I, I wanted to say Aaron, but I was thinking more. Also, I was thinking Meloda. I was, I, I was like, he is clearly voiced by Meloda, isn't he? Isn't that Meloda's? You know. He sounds a lot like, you know, pervy, because remember how pervy he is, right, in, in, in uh, Seven Deadly Sins, right, main character, also, of course, you know, Yuki Kadi, he's such a perv, right, it sounds a lot like him, I was like, man, it sounds a lot like him, or as the, the goat in uh, Beastars, um, that character he plays too, also kind of a flamboyant uh, pervy guy, but certainly something like Meloda, he's like, ah, oh, Diane's buttocks, yeah, something like that kind of scene, right. And actually agrees. She's like, oh yeah, I have all salivas. <laughs> Why is this? Oh yeah, don't worry guys, I have every saliva for love. It's like, of course you do, yeah. I, I got I got all the salivas, baby. I got everything. It's like, yeah, that sounds normal. Um, I have collected love saliva for everyone. Of course you have. Of course you have. Okay, yeah, what do you do then? Okay, what's the result then? Oh yeah, exactly, are you, good question. Are you just gonna stop dating then if you don't love each other? If, if, if evidence proves that? No, he's like, I will always love my crazy woman here! <laughs> yeah. This woman here is a weirdo! She's my hentai! I get him, I get Aaron, he's like, I love this woman! Yeah, he, she's a complete perv. This is my perv, there we go, yeah, she, we have sex every day, we have this hentai life, so, of course she's like, yeah, we have, we have sex all the time, so, yeah, me and Sue, we do it constantly, so why would I ever, you know, break the promise, I can see why he's not gonna break up with his incredibly big oppai woman, it's also like twice his size too, right, he's very menos here, it's the same voice actor, right, sounds menos, and he, he's very tiny, and she's like, huge, like, oppai meal, right, she's like a gigantic meal size, his, her boob is like big in his head, right? So, yeah, I can see why he would never break up with Sue, no matter what happens. Also, remember, of course, it's the same name as uh, the slime girl Sue, of course, in Monster Musume, for that matter. Sue Shan, yeah. But yeah, she has a lot of saliva samples, because that makes a lot of sense, I feel. Uh, I certainly expect, if I go to a, you know, a scientist, that I can find, uh, you know, a woman that only works on collecting saliva. <laughs> yeah, this is certainly very reasonable that a woman that only collects saliva. That's like, her whole life is like, I'm a saliva collector. You're like, yeah, sure. Yes, these guys have super science. <laughs> horny. It's like some kind of super science hentai power. They are so horny for each other that their powers are like super science. Yeah, they can... I love it, it's the Dragon Ball power, I mean, the levitating, it's like, even look at Namek, right? I love it, it's clearly a Super Saiyan reference, I mean, it even has a Namek, um, you know, the Freeza Goku fight, it even has a, it's clearly Namek, I love it, yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're like picking Super Saiyan Goku level 1 here. Oh, an amazing love there, that was a great reference. Yeah, I love the whole uh, the plan turned into Namek, yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was awesome. But we can defeat them with our horny powers. You're right. That's right, yeah. We won't lose to them. Let's transform into, I don't know, their own Super Saiyan? It's a little weird now, though, that... I mean, those two are Super Saiyan, so what, what are they? Goku, then? Or something? 
<laughs> even, even the plant in the background now is to, is to now make a kind of weird palm trees, yeah. Very good. Yeah, now it really is a Dragon Ball. Now we see the plants and everything. Yeah, and she's just like, please note, this is not the science. <laughs> yeah. The poor woman is like, please note, this has nothing to do with reality. This is a stupid anime. Yeah, don't take them seriously. But yeah, so now they're gonna have like a saliva battle here. Yeah, they're gonna have a saliva war here. Who can produce the most horny saliva to prove your love right? Which is clearly a reasonable way to, you know, prove how much love you have for someone, right? This episode was probably one of the best, honestly, so far in the anime. I mean, I like the new milf, right? You know, yeah, introducing a new huge opine milf that is super horny and thirsty and, I mean, literally very thirsty, yeah, saliva doctor. Thirstiest tilf ever, yeah. She's all like, oh yeah, saliva, octacin in the saliva. I mean, this woman's crazy. This does make sense, though, from a side tempo. This is true, though, that of course you produce different kind of stuff if you're angry, if you're loving and so on. It is, it, it is, of course, true, though, that um, what you produce from your body, right, in your mouth and other stuff is different, right? Like eating and, you know, intercourse or whatever, right? And it makes sense, right? Because yeah, if you're angry, you're gonna produce the exact same enzymes or whatever, hormones or whatever, because like that's not a mode, right? So it is true that the course is a scientific thing to it, right? Of course it is. To some extent, the anime of course is real, but with, with the whole like, well, if you're angry, you produce this this more, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> that was good. She's so horny for her food. <laughs> I love it. It's kind of a weird thing, right? Yeah. She's a very easily, very thirsty girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was good. That was very awesome, man. She went super silent by just eating her food. Yeah. Stealing her food. I need to try it, yeah. Yeah, I need to try the food, yeah. Oh, that was good. She went super silent by eating food instead. She's, she's, she's doing the uh, soma bit, yeah. She's like, oh, yeah. She's having an orgasm for the food, right? That's very good, very good. She went all soma on us. This food was so amazing that... But yeah, why does she work in some kind of, I don't know, yeah, quarters prostitute outfit? Why is she, why is she in a lab coat plus, you know, like, oh, I'm also a prostitute or something. I'm a doctor prostitute. I don't mind, you know, the lab is totally pay enough, you know. I guess she's like, she needs to work extra on the weekend, you know, yeah. Like her, her doctor, uh, whatever, salary, right, or whatever, the rich salary, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't pay enough. She actually wasn't that old, so I guess she's like an assistant, though. She actually probably wouldn't have that high salary because she's not an actual professor, right? But whatever. Uh, <laughs> she she needs to work extra on the, on the evenings, right? You know, going and pull some tricks on the street, right? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, the beer bag. Yeah, yeah. It's Doc, Dr. Kuma, whatever it's called. Yeah. Hak Hakuse Kuma, whatever. It's like Professor Beer, right? Hakuse Kuma. Something like that. I honestly forgot what it's called. I mean, I've been seeing this anime in a while, so. Yeah, I mean, centrifugal force that you can click the power on it, but. No. Yeah. yeah, so they contain their. Uh... No, I mean, is that the image holder, right? Like, how can a, you know, how can a raindrop contain its shape, right? Well, it has some power inside of it. Uh, but that's. that's well, well, okay, fine. A, tear, like a, a, a drop falling, though, it's. Some part this thing, but also part of the surface. Uh, it's like the surface energy level. London and the valve bind is also connected water to each other, though. Kind of makes it collect. So it's not only central huge powers that makes it contain its, its shape or whatever, but uh, it's part of it in, in this context. Um, so it's not, it's not entirely true, it's only, but whatever. He's like, yeah, it's a great way for washing my clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's so proud now. That's right, we are the greatest saliva doctors in the world. Yeah, he's so proud now by his skills here. That's right, we are the hentai doctors. We are the greatest hentais ever. <laughs> it's like, yes, no one knows saliva as much as we do. Yeah, okay, but he really is into his, uh, you know, gigantic oppa lady, so I mean, I guess why, you know? Why wouldn't he be into her massive body shape? Man, she's just an insane, you know, kind of slutty, slutty character, yeah. 
But her whole, her whole cat is just like a super thirsty milf, right? <laughs> yeah. Beast! <laughs> He's like, she's trying to abuse me, man! Sexuality! <laughs> yeah. If all of this, she's too thirsty. He's like, give me your saliva, Dr. Yukimaru. Yeah. He's like, ah, she's trying to get with me. I don't want her. You save me. Save me, my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, that thing, she's kind of a weird, right? She's almost trying to grab his saliva on force, right? She's really is a perv, seriously. Yeah, and now she attacks her boyfriend again here. Of course. Well, yeah. But obviously he's like half her size and... <laughs> it can't be half, you know, her whole size is a kid's whole body. Yeah, and they are like, oh my god, they're doing it in front of us. <laughs> stop doing it, guys, you freaking pervs. Yeah, like, can you stop doing this weird stuff in front of us? Yeah, these poor people, man, they keep, keep being attacked, right? It's just like, man, yeah. Yeah, they're not happy anymore, I'm just doing. Now she's gonna do some sex trick here. Here we go. Yukimara Kun, we need to get hornier, yeah. Horny me up. <laughs> here we go, yeah. Tell me how pretty I am. Well, yeah, yeah, her ponytail. Yes, remember that now. Yeah, ponytail has life long, right? This guy, tell me I'm sexy, so you act it slut. Yeah. You gotta horn up, boy. Okay, what can, what can you do then? Ah, nice, yeah. That's so romantic, man. It's so romantic. Oh my god, it's so romantic. What a master romance. You call me fat? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm expanding that universe. Yeah, you just. That's not calling me fat in a way. Yeah, calling me that I'm getting fatter. Yeah, you need to make contact now. Yeah, we gotta, gotta get in there. Yeah, let's flirt. Why, 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 why do they have, like, let's go inside and flirt in this closed closet? Like, why do they have, like, me? I guess these guys are producing saliva, I guess, a lot. He's like, yeah, we flirt every day in the closet. Me and my big super milf here. Massive titties. Let's go, Opais, yeah. He's like, yeah, I can't wait. Let's go in the closet and, you know, produce some saliva, right? We're gonna do it in front of them? No one can see us in the closet. Yeah, <laughs> so like, it's funny, these people. They are by far the most hentai characters for them, but they watch the other characters, yeah. And now I guess they are doing it in the closet? Holy shit, yeah. They went into the closet and I was like, let's do it in the closet. Yeah, couples are incredible. This is more like two perps. I don't know why they are like couples, because I feel they are more like two weirdos. They're like, oh yeah, let's do it in the closet in front of them. Oh, they can't see us, they can only hear us. They're basically like, oh yeah, they're basically two hentai characters. Uh, she's like, oh, but it felt good, right? Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, but you liked it, right? You liked my big titties, right? Yeah, it's like, what is a character? So you straight up hentai's. I get the impression they are definitely increasing their saliva <laughs> or oxytonin. Yeah, but it's like, I love that comment, but I get the impression that those two guys, they're really good at producing that shit, yeah. But what can we do? Oh yeah, we kiss that time? That probably works. Do we have do we have to kiss again? What if I kiss you? Would that make you produce more saliva? I love it. Is it gonna kiss now? Rationally speaking, we have to kiss each other, yeah. Or do something with our mouths, yeah. We have to do oral, we have to do something, right? We have to kiss a bare minimum. You gotta kiss me in my mouth so we can produce more mouth power, yeah. It's the only rational solution to this problem. We have to defeat those weirdos, yeah. By kissing. Man, this anime is perfectly written, man. <laughs> yeah, so the kiss, of course, in the end there, yeah, so do the kiss here. But I, I like how it's like, the only rational solution to winning is to kiss a lot, yeah. We, we have to really smooch up in our bodies here. And of course they win, probably, or something. No, they lost anyway. But yeah, those two had basically had sex, right, so. Bacana, our levels are super low, yeah. We need to kiss more. <laughs> they have a magnitude of power that we have, yeah. They're like... You guys kissed in there? <laughs> but we kissed a lot in there. Like, ah, yeah, she's like, why are you saying this to me? <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> He's like, I have the Super Saiyan power. I was gonna explain to them that... Yeah, yeah, we have Super Saiyan level 2, baby. <laughs> like, what is this? Lap pillow? No, we did way more 
you know, stuff in there. I don't think, yeah. It's like, what is this thing? <laughs> the ending is beautiful. You can't defeat me. We have way more, you know. Yeah, what is this? We got this anime. I love the ending. He's like, Pff, you weaklings. Um, so here we go, right? The, la the last thing was that he's like, <laughs> you weaklings. Uh, we have way more powers than you guys. Yeah, and he's like, bam. Turns into Super Saiyan again, and he's like, no, 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 you weaklings, man. You can't just kiss, guys. That's, maybe that was the rational solution, but we did all it. We did, we did all the way. Like, we went all the paths, so, yeah, we really empowered. I love that scene, though, Yannis speaking, when, of course, uh, went to Namek, right? <laughs> I love it, like, we're gonna fight them at Namek. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here, 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 see this. This scene was great. <laughs> we are super science in sex. <laughs> like, that was a great reference. Never see the plants behind him. And he's like, you can't defeat me. I am Goku of intercourse. <laughs> what? You're like, yeah, that's right. We got we are a power couple indeed, man. We do we do couple with, you know, like, yeah, the ultimate power. Um, holy shit, was she a weirdo? Though? Jesus Christ. Jesus. Uh yeah, this woman, right? This woman, saliva doctor. Holy shit. She was way more hemp than all the cats. I mean, we already have, you know, arrow game master, right? And a little girl that's like, you know, rationally a hemp and so on, right? But this woman, this very, very, like, you know, sensei, tilf, milf kind of character. I mean, he was just crying. She was by far the most hemp the cats in her anime. But only does she have the typical arra arra, you know, appearance and so on, right? And dresses up in slutty clouds and. A prostitute, but yeah, she also like I'm a I'm a saliva doctor. <laughs> yeah, I want the saliva. Mm, I collect salivas. We produce more power by more kissing, is all right. You're like, whoa. This episode was fun, though, man. This episode, I, honestly, seriously, I mean, as I said earlier, because I've seen the anime and I like the anime, right? But generally speaking, this feels like almost arguably the the funnest episode so far this anime. Seriously, I don't remember them being that fun because. But I would say that this addition, right, of this saliva doctor was a good addition, yeah. She's very, very hentai, and of course I like her design too, right, so... The tertiest doctor ever, yeah. Miss Saliva, right, so... But that was a cool character, honestly. Really funny. But, uh, but um... I think one thing they did, though, this episode, was that I remember last season when they had this science stuff, right? Or oh, something was wrong, for that matter. But, you know, and they did science stuff, and the science stuff was like... I would say a little too little, or too much, I mean, a little too like, actual correct sometimes, but mostly also kind of like it's too much of it, where they spend too much time talking about it, and I feel this episode didn't have too much, the, the beer was there for the center of yards, but that was like only a minute, so I think that could be one thing too, because some of the episodes I feel are a little slow paced, because they're like, oh, let's talk about science stuff for like five minutes, right? So that also could be a reason, they, they kind of cut down on the science uh, gibberish. But honestly, sometimes it doesn't even make any sense what the sign is either, right? It's like, yeah, okay, fine, but um, that could be a thing too, right? But honestly, I think it's a very strong episode one, generally, right? It was a really fun episode one. Fun I expected, but they also, again, introduced two new cats, right? You know, that definitely had a... And, and, and just the, the parody of them being like Super Saiyan hem ties too, yeah. Oh, we can go Super Saiyan with our love, you know, yeah. Like, we are Gokus, yeah, like... That was funny too, so I feel the ref that the parody of suddenly they're at Namek and they're like, oh yeah, you can't defeat us. Super Saiyan, baby! Let me, you know, let me suck on those. Yeah, it was like, yeah, that was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> that was some good parody too, so I think this episode really kind of went out there much better than last season, honestly. I can remember this. Uh, but anyway, guys, guess one. I guess I watched more of it. No, but like, we're gonna watch more Friday, right? We have the, the girl, Isuka girl fighting too. And also these other comedy anime, right? I might end up watching all three, right? Who knows? Um, I even, it might even be more anime next week. I remember there was one Friday season where I had like eight animes that were good or something. There was one <laughs> There was one season that was crazy. When it was like eight, seven, eight animes dropping on Fridays. They were all pretty good. But I, of course, I cut down a few of them. Because I can watch like eight animes on Friday. They stream me forever. But there was one season where I just actually did kind of like a Twitch stream, right? I sat down, and I was like, okay, we have this, like, uh, butchie, there's, like, three, you know, kind of similar uh, comedy introvert animes. 
So I watch them all in one stream and then cut them up, you know, like cut them up in pieces, yeah. And just do a one very long stream and just like whatever, just keep talking, you know. But uh, who knows, right? Who knows? We have to see how the other enemies are too, definitely. Yeah, like what are they gonna bring to the table, right? Because one of them is like is girls fighting, you know. Might be good, right? Might just be meh, right? It's like some kind of sexy girls doing a battle, right? So it might be fine. And then the other anime again is uh, a comedy anime. That also is like, you know. It sounds like a pretty good comedy anime, but you know, sometimes comedy animes I feel miss the mark completely. But very rarely, though. So I'm, I'm very, I, I, I have a very low bar, right, to like comedy anime. So probably not, <laughs> but still, we gotta see that tonight. Anyways, and I'll see you guys. Have a great day.